Every time you scroll and you see someone's post, that's an energy exchange. And if you're constantly going through and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, that's a lot of energy that you're exchanging unconsciously. When I unfollowed everyone, I really put out there that the people that I'm meant to connect with on this platform is who I'm meant to connect with and who I am choosing to connect with. Hi loves and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about all about why I don't follow anyone on Instagram. <laughs> I know a lot of people are curious and have asked me why I don't follow anyone on Instagram and it's a very long story that I'm excited to dive into today for today's video. Um, if you have been a part of my journey on Instagram for a while now, I've been on Instagram for 10 years and I used to follow almost 1700 people and in December or October 2020, I decided to unfollow everyone. Just it didn't happen overnight because you have to like unfollow a certain amount of people every day for a few days because if you unfollow everyone at once, it'll think you're a bot. So I think I unfollowed everyone over the course of two to three weeks and eventually zero people. So why? Why did I suddenly decide to unfollow everyone? Well, there is a lot of reasons why, but to the core of it, my intention was to heal, which is what my intention is whenever it is I, or whenever I do choose to do something. And one of the reasons why I wanted to follow everyone is because I realized that I was seeking external validation when I would follow people, be it, uh, follow people back, for example, situation so somebody asks me hey what's your instagram i'm like hey here's my instagram and then i would give them my instagram and then they would follow me and then i would feel bad if i don't follow them back and i would feel like if i didn't follow them back they wouldn't like me people pleasing pattern yeah i was a i was a huge people pleaser <laughs> so when i unfollowed everyone I really put out there that the people that I'm meant to connect with on this platform is who I'm meant to connect with and who I am choosing to connect with because I would also scroll mindlessly and endlessly on Instagram on my feed. And as much as I love my friends and staying up to date with what people are doing and, and seeing how their lives are, it was a lot of energy that I kept interacting with like every time you scroll and you see someone's post that's an energy exchange and if you're constantly going through and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling that's a lot of energy that you're exchanging unconsciously so when i also unfollowed everyone that means i didn't have a feed to scroll through which was such it was like shock to me of like every time i would go into my instagram i'd be like oh there's nobody there there's no posts. <laughs> so that was another reason why I unfollowed everyone on Instagram and letting myself face that uncomfortability of also, you know, telling people what my Instagram was and then saying like, Hey, I don't follow one anyone on Instagram. It would also kind of tell me like what their intention was to when asking for my Instagram. I've had definitely, I've definitely had moments where people have asked me, this is mainly like at the club at Las Vegas. They're like, Hey, what's your Instagram? And I'm like, it's this, I don't follow anyone though. And they're like, Oh, <laughs> and then they just put their phone away and I'm like, Oh, okay. So, okay. That was a great experience for me to understand the type of people who I am excited to connect with on Instagram who want to connect with me still, even though I don't follow anyone back. So what happened when I unfollowed everyone? So first thing is that I got several people unfollowing me. Well, I can't really say several, I don't remember, but I do have screenshots of where I had like about 3,200 people following me. And now I have about 2,900 people following me. So there were definitely hundreds of people that unfollowed me after that 
not saying because I unfollowed them, but I definitely noticed that there are people that fell out of my Instagram connection. Um, and also, side note, I used to be one of those people who would download an Instagram like side app to track who would unfollow me because I would get so butthurt about my followers. <laughs> like I would take it so personally. So that was another reason why I unfollowed everyone. It's because I wanted to practice not taking things personally if somebody were to unfollow me or if anyone just didn't want to connect with me anymore on the platform. So going back to what else happened when I unfollowed everyone, I actually connected with the most people ever after I unfollowed everyone, which is something that I didn't expect. Like I have had so many DMs and messages after the fact, and it's because I had also that intention to connect. Like, yes, I had that intention to heal some things within myself, the people pleasing patterns, the external validation, but also I had that intention to genuinely, truly, presently connect with people on Instagram. And messaging has been a beautiful way to do that. And when I started to message people more and really let myself talk and have these conversations, this allowed me to get to know people. Like, instead of mindlessly scrolling and, and just not really giving that present attention and that present energy onto their posts or whatever they're sharing, I can do that in a message. And so it's been really beautiful to get to know people more and through messaging, like I said, and I really didn't expect to be able to connect with more people through messaging, like even people that I don't know. Sometimes I have posts and people just message me and they tell me how like my post helped them. And it's, it's really beautiful to hear and I'm really grateful to hear these messages and these feedbacks because that is my intention too with with being on Instagram is just being of service and sharing creations and posts to help you on your journey, whether it's to create, to connect, to heal. <laughs> I'm really still focusing on that, that core message that I'm putting out there with Instagram. Like, yes, I love to help people connect and create and to heal, but to what specific extent like i know i'm a person who loves to connect with people and i loves who loves to build connections with people all over the world and so learning how that learning how that shapes and how that unfolds is something i'm still experiencing and exploring on instagram so if you're with me on instagram i'm really grateful for you being part of that journey because creating reels has been so much fun lately <laughs> so if you're thinking about unfollowing people on Instagram or just like unfollowing people in general, ask yourself, why? <laughs> why do you wanna unfollow people? And if you're scared to do it or you have hesitancy with doing it, ask yourself why? Like, why are you scared and why is there hesitancy? Are you fearing that people will judge you when you unfollow? Are you fearing that people are gonna be let go and like won't talk to you anymore and they won't like you? Really? Asking yourself those questions and being honest with yourself is the first step to be able to make that change and take that action. Instagram for me has been a really powerful platform to connect with people both online and in person. And if I do meet them online, it always is my intention to meet them in person. So I met so many beautiful people online first and then met them in person. For example, Paris, if you've seen my videos with Paris, like we first met online, we, we started by following each other and then we eventually we met in person and we've created so many beautiful things together in person now and, and both online. So just really knowing and understanding your intention and if you have any fears or uncomfortability coming up with the thought of unfollowing people on Instagram, again, ask yourself why why do you want to do it? What is your intention moving forward when it comes to that moment, if you choose to do it, to you know unfollow people and to let go of people? And I have experienced a lot of beautiful opportunities <laughs> that I never thought would have happened. And I feel like it's because I took that effort and that action to let go 
of people on Instagram. Like, just because you unfollow somebody doesn't mean that you don't want to connect with them. If anything, that means I want to connect with you more <laughs> because I am intentionally putting that effort and energy with you if I notice you putting that energy and giving that energy as well. And I am really grateful for every person on Instagram so far who has been really taking the time to talk to me, share and be vulnerable with me and let themselves speak their authentic truth. So, so far it's been a little over two years since I've been following zero people and I have gotten thoughts of starting to follow people back. However, if I do follow people back, it's very select. Like I'm very, very particular of who I share my energy with because to me, following people is an energy exchange. When I started to dive into the explore page, because I, I didn't really go on the explore page until after I unfollowed everyone, that's when I also took the time to make Instagram a tool to learn. Like I've actually learned a lot about how to create healthy boundaries and how to have healthy relationships through Instagram, thanks to the algorithm, shout out to the algorithm. <laughs> Um, and it, I really set that intention to use it as a tool to educate myself, to um, better myself instead of, you know, just just letting myself scroll, whatever. And I do have moments where I still watch people dancing or cute videos and, and, and videos that aren't as educational, but really letting myself focus my energy on those type of posts, those types of creations also inspires me to create. So I would love to know what is your intention with being on Instagram and if you've been thinking about unfollowing people or just starting to go through that process of unfollowing people, let me know your thoughts and let me know if there's anything that came up for you in terms of Instagram or just connecting in general. Um, I also want to thank all the beautiful tippers who help keep this production and this channel running without you i wouldn't be able to pay for my monthly subscriptions like my editing software and for canva and for my hotspot wi-fi thing because i mean i don't pay for wi-fi i use my internet from my phone to upload these videos and to to create at this present moment um but yeah just let me know uh, if, if there's anything that you are curious to learn more of because I want these videos to to be of service for you and to help you learn different ways and different perspectives of how you can grow, especially on social media. Like I love social media and its ability to connect and I know it's something that has the power to disconnect also. So you can choose what you want to do with it. You can either use it to connect or feel disconnected. It's up to you. I definitely had to create a really big mindset shift with that. And again, I feel like unfollowing everyone really allowed me to help connect, actually, instead of disconnect. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy listening to my story, I definitely have a lot more stories to share about how I've learned to grow and to heal and to also connect and create. So make sure to like and subscribe. I was gonna say smash that notification bell. Gently click the notification bell so you can stay up to date for my videos as of right now i'm posting a video every single day because i am taking action to be a youtuber and embodying it and to be of service for you so i appreciate you until next time bye love everything from the past affects how you are today what you've learned from your family your family learned it from their family and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so the cycle keeps on repeating until you make the decision to do something about it. If, if that's something that you don't want to continue.